lovers what's going on babies it's good to see y'all again welcome to your general love reading yay for september 1st of 2023 how y'all feeling how y'all doing i said how y'all doing hello talk to me now what's going on in your love life let me just go on and invade your love life since you don't want to act you don't want to tell me how you doing how you doing? You know, Cancer, one time my only interaction with like, uh, no, I'm lying. I dealt with two Cancers. Let me tell you this while I'm shuffling your cards. And this was, those of you that's new to this channel, you're going to be like, wow, she's pretty bold there. Distance popped out, physical and emotional distance. I dealt with two Cancers. One Cancer, I worked with him years ago in Brooklyn. He was a Puerto Rican dude, Jason. I never forget. He is so cute. He had the best personality. He had a girlfriend though. But I was like, I just love Jason. He used to flirt. He was a big flirt. Some of y'all probably know Jason. <laughs> but uh, so cute. Um, and like, we just was cool. And yeah, I had sex with him. <laughs> I just saw 111 on the clock. I felt bad after I did. I said, that's wrong. We, us women, we supposed to stick together. But I wanted Jason. And then my other interaction with a cancer was a stripper from California named Aaron. Oh my God. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Who cancer? I wanted to tell y'all that. I felt like sharing those two stories with y'all. Aaron and Jason. Mm. I wasn't crazy about Jason's sex. The Puerto Rican dude, it's like he was trying to make a love to me. I'm like, you got a girlfriend, boy. <laughs> this supposed to be bang, bang, bang. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm not that person anymore, though. I don't see people's boyfriends anymore, okay? Or husbands or anything like that. But um, Aaron, Aaron's sex was great. <laughs> the stripper, of course. Of course the stripper was great. You're a slut. You slept with two men? Yeah. <laughs> that ain't even the beginning. Welcome to your general love reading cancer. Just felt like sharing that with y'all. I don't know why. I just saw two, two, two. You know I like to talk to y'all. But um, welcome if it's your first time here. <laughs> and if you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Ooh, something good is happening within the next few weeks for you in your love life. September. Yeah, a few weeks is what? The third week in September. Hello? Did I stutter? Then you got soul purpose. A lot of you guys have found your soul purpose. I'm proud of you. Or a lot of you are on like this, um, a lot of you are on like this journey to find your soul purpose and you're very close. Then you got longing, missing you, desiring connection. Uh-uh. Somebody missed you. They longing for you. Separation, time apart and breakup. Somebody you broke up with or you separated with been thinking about you a lot. Then you got wish fulfillment. I'm telling you, something good is coming for you in your love life. You're getting like a wish granted. All right, Cancer. Then you got time for change. Ooh, big changes are coming. Trust the process. Yeah. With fertility here, blessings and pregnancy. Watch out for pregnancy. Some of you could be pregnant. Okay. Telepathy. Tilapia. Tilapia. What did they say about Taylor Swift? She got a tour. Then it says... um. I don't know why the hell that just popped up. Maybe somebody's name is Taylor. Maybe somebody a big Taylor Swift fan. We are never, ever, ever. I love her. <laughs> she be feeling how I feel. Fuck all y'all niggas. All right. And then you got, uh, you have a telepathic connection with somebody. Some of y'all connecting with uh, 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 Aries? Is that who I did earlier? No, Sagittarius. I don't even know what the hell is going on. Look what dropped in my lap. Car karmic, I can't even know. K -k 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 karmic partner, pain, and toxicity. These three just, what is with me with the cards? Get yourself together. These are the cards that dropped in my lap. What are all these cards that hit the floor? Come on. You know what it is? These cards are so little. So sometimes it's hard for me. It was scissor hands up in here. Come on now. Look, it was scissor hands. <laughs> so I'll be feeling sometimes. Cut the shit out of a bush. Shear it up for you. 
Nah, but there's somebody who is a karmic that you that you were supposed to learn lessons from. It's somebody that caused you a lot of pain and it's somebody that was very manipulative, could have been a narcissist. They had negative energy. You could feel this person's energy. That looks like a tower for me. So some of you, maybe a tower happened with this person. I just see that they caused you a lot of pain. But what I want you to know is this person is getting karma and they are suffering. They may be going through emotional and physical pain. Yeah. Because you were loyal to this person. Loyal on the bottom here. Passion for you and honesty. This person is stupid. <laughs> uh, who's the person missing you? Probably them. Apology. I am sorry. Oh, yeah. You're sorry. Oh. A midget want to be tall. People in hell need ice water. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Forgiveness. Apology. Wow. Twice. So you got apology, I'm so sorry. And I don't know, somebody, some of y'all, somebody got you a card or something, like knocking cards everywhere. Somebody got you a card saying they were sorry or flowers or something for something they did. And then the card next to I'm sorry says forgiveness, apology, kindness, and regret with life partner on the bottom. Somebody really regrets how they treated you. They're sorry, they wanna apologize, they might have apologized, they want forgiveness because you were very kind towards this person and this person is now seeing that you're a life partner. There's not a lot of people like you and the energy you were given, other people don't give that. What's the separation? Who's this person that's, is, is this all the same person? Cold, left out in the cold and one-sided with twin flame here. Some of y'all, this is a twin flame. A twin lane. What's this wish that you got coming up, uh, granted? Some of y'all went to a birthday party recently. Maybe even a baby shower, I heard. Hey, sexy lady. Conflict. Confused on how to move forward, arguments and disagreement. With lessons here. Can I get another card on this wish fulfillment? Wait, within a few months. So some of you, it may be within a few weeks. Some of you may be within, a, you still got something good coming to you before September is up. But then there's something else good coming, something you wish for coming um, within a few months. So before the year is up. Yeah. Hey, sexy lady. <laughs> Let's see the change here. Big changes are coming, trust the process. Coming soon, very soon. Oh my God. Wow. Something, some type of big change is happening. Some type of shift in your love life. And it's going to make you happy. Look, romance. Dark night of the soul. Some of y'all face that. Romance. Winding and dining, getting to know each other and flirting. Some of y'all about to get pregnant. Be careful. And don't tell me your eggs is... I'm about to say your, all your eggs hatched. <laughs> Don't tell me all your eggs turn to powder. Some of you got somebody watching you to see if you pregnant. What the fuck? <laughs> somebody is fine on some of you. Like if you're pregnant or are they trying to see if you got somebody pregnant or are they trying to see if <laughs> like it's weird. Hold on, my sage going crazy again. I'm sorry, Cancer. Y'all like, this reading is crazy. Who is this woman? My name is Miss Hawaii. I gotta watch this sage because it'll smoke this shit up real quick. I mean, I'm happy that it's cleansing the energy, but I want y'all to be able to see me. Yeah, I'm using the um, selenite. <laughs> I shouldn't be using this to put it out because I can't use nothing else. All right. Yeah, some of y'all, somebody's watching you to either see if you're pregnant, if somebody got you pregnant, if you got a baby with somebody. Somebody says obsessed, fine social media and infatuation with commitment. Somebody could be watching to see if you're in a relationship or if you're in one, they looking to see what's going on. It's like this person is obsessed. Something about pregnancy. Maybe somebody pregnant is watching you. What the hell? 
the hell this person want? You need to go and get yourself ready to be a mama. Get your coochie ready to be all stretched out. Never be the same again. That's why I ain't got no kids. Ain't nobody gonna mess my coochie up. <laughs> nah, boy, we gotta be in love, love. Nah, my coochie is never gonna be the same again. You think I'm gonna let you come along and do that to me? Nah, boy, we in it for life. Because once you stretch this coochie out and I give you a baby like that, mm -hmm, you ain't going nowhere. I see five, five, five. Big changes, good changes coming. I love five, five, five. Make sure you guys hit the like button if this is resonating. You guys be laughing at me. Stop laughing at me, Cancer. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the reading. Please keep it positive because people be attacking people in comments. Talking about somebody was attacking men in the comments. I'm like, dude, sorry that you've <laughs> encountered a horrible amount of, you know what I mean? Horrible men. But don't spread that on other people because you've had some bad situations. Don't discredit every good man out there because you dealt with the bad ones. You know what I mean? Like, all men are not the same. All women are not the same. You just sound bitter when you start acting like that. You know what I mean? So let's see. Everybody ain't getting cheated on because you getting cheated on. No. <laughs> the truth, Cancer. All right. What's going on in your love life? How does this person feel about you? Who are they? Who the hell is that? How does this person feel about you? Who are they? Whoa, the page of wands in reverse just flew out. Always forever. Two of Pentacles. Let me turn this music down so that way you two don't get mad at me and try to kill me. <laughs> Just realized it was kind of loud. The star. That's Aquarian energy. Somebody is praying to the baby Jesus for you to come back. Moon. That's your energy. A lot of you could be dealing with another cancer. Ace of Swords. Four of Cups. Oh. Somebody's a principal. Three of Cups. Let's do one more. Ace of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck, Justice in reverse. That's Libra energy right there. Sorry if it looks like <laughs> smoky in here. That's the sage. I'm sorry. I just looked at the camera. I'm like, ooh, it looks so smoky. But that's good. Which deck are we going to clarify with? If you guys want to book a personal reading, you can email Miss Hawaii Readings at gmail.com. Okay. I said, okay. If you dare do a reading with me, Kansa, if you dare. I know some people be telling me, I'm scared to do a reading with you. I don't want one, but I'm scared. You scared to hear the truth? Sean ain't no good. Let his ass go. <laughs> you know it in your heart and soul. You don't even need to read it. <laughs> you just need confirmation, don't you? I'm scared. What you scared of the truth? I would want to know. I don't want to waste a second on somebody that ain't the one for me. Right, Cancer? Not a damn millisecond. What's this page of wands in reverse? Somebody want to message you, right? But they haven't. It's somebody you dealt with before. Yeah, it could be a fire sign. Ooh, it's somebody you had a very painful ending with. They very immature. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could have even betrayed you with the Queen of Swords in reverse. 
What's the two of pentacles? Some of y'all could be born on the second. Four of swords, four of pentacles, and the hermit, Virgo energy. So somebody is at a distance holding on to you. It's like this person is trying to decide if they should message you or not. They've been wishing that you would come towards them with the star in reverse, the knight of cups. Well, there's somebody else. Somebody feel like um, emperor in reverse. Somebody feels like you're their wish fulfillment. Like something about the way you love. Like the way you gave this person love. Somebody could be born on the 20th, the 21st, or the 22nd. On my baby's face. Let me see the moon. The devil in reverse. That popped out. That's Capricorn energy, the eight of cups. Somebody has secret feelings for you? This is somebody you walked away from, you detached from, you healed from, but this person is still like, I wonder if this is all the same person. Let me get another card on this moon, please. Thank you, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. The high priestess in reverse. Nah, this person need to keep their ass away from you. It's somebody toxic that you took your power back from. Let me see this ace of swords. You got two aces here. This reading is definitely about somebody who treated you unfairly. Didn't I say that with the lovers in reverse? There's an ex or somebody here from your past that wants to talk to you. Five of wands in reverse hit the floor. Make it up for some type of conflict with the seven of cups. It's like this person's fantasizing about you, but they not hitting you up with the page of pentacles in reverse. They're afraid to get rejected. Why the four of cups here? Yep, six of wands in reverse. I just said that. Page of pentacles in reverse. The same cards with the eight of pentacles. They are afraid that if they show you and try to step up and put some effort in and show you they want this, you're going to shut them down. What's the three of cups? Somebody's name could be Angel. Yeah, this person want to make up for something they did to you here. They want a reunion with you. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? There's somebody like, let me just clarify before I say anything. The Magician. Yeah, somebody's trying to manifest you. This is a different person. This isn't like an ex or like a past lover. This feel like, this somebody new, like newish. This person, they could be a Gemini. You might be talking to this person now. This could be somebody you're currently dealing with. They're being seen as a magician. So it's somebody who's really trying to show you they want this. Um, but with the Ace of Wands in reverse, this person is trying to like not rush things with you. I also feel like the past person feels like you're not attracted to them anymore. Like if the past person is into meta the metaphysical, they may be trying to manifest you with this magician card. They may be trying to like, yeah, manifest you to come towards them. Because this person is not hitting you up. It's like they're like, mm, should I, should I not? But they're not. Because they did you wrong with the justice in reverse. The knight of swords. The justice upright. Wow, with the two of cups. Heavy Libra energy. This person is getting karma though for how they treated you. I just saw the letter K. K, so somebody could have a first initial K, last name K. Somebody could also be born on the 11th. Yeah. <coughs> this person is getting serious karma. Now I got sage all in my throat. Pause. Ah, guys, sip that like it's liquor. Schmish malt liquor. <laughs> yeah, but they still feel this like strong soulmate connection with you, whoever this is. 
Can I know more about this person's feelings for cancer? A few of you may have had a divorce with this person. Ten of Cups, see? King of Swords. It's like they're trying to think logically about how they can have this with you. But you coming up as the Empress in Reverse. I, I don't think you... How, do, how does Cancer feel about whoever this is? Emperor in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse. No. A few of you may have a child with this person, but I feel like you're seeing this person as the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, which means they could be controlling, stubborn, possessive, mean. <clears throat> but they still have in their mind that you and them could have this Ten of Cups. Y'all could be together. Y'all could have a relationship. Y'all can have children if you don't already. Y'all, you know what I mean? Y'all can make a family. They feel like they could, they feel like they could heal whatever hurt they caused you. Some of you may have even got a message from this person already. They, some of you may have rejected this person already. Some of y'all going to some type of party or social event with the Three of Cups. I see you having fun. All right, let's go into the extended now. Let's see what's coming towards you in the future in love. What's happening in the future for my cancers? Cancer, I want to thank y'all for all your views on the last reading. All of you that purchased the extended on the last reading. Thank you guys for that. You guys have been slowly creeping up there, getting, you know, to the most views. Almost there. Keep going. And you'll keep getting readings, right? So thank you guys for that. But if you would like to join me in this extended and you feel like it's been resonating, the link is below. That'll take you over to Vimeo where we will continue this read. We'll look at the Cosmic Insights deck <clears throat> to see what's coming towards you in the future. Then we'll look at the Amira Love Messages here to see what's coming towards you in the future. And then we'll use the Tarot to see what's coming towards you in the future, okay? So exciting. And then we'll pull you some advice to see how you should proceed moving forward in love and overall. All right, Kansas? Thank you for all your love and your support. And look, Cancer, right here, I got all this here. I shaved my legs tonight, this morning to tonight. And I missed a whole big spot. Y'all ever do that? <laughs> so I'm getting my feet down. I know the dude was like, what the hell? She got a, a one, a one half of a hairy leg. <laughs> I figured I'll make y'all laugh. All right. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the extended Kansas. If not, I'll see y'all next time. Much love to the Patreoners and the members. And thanks for all your continuous support. Have a fun weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.